Hi, my name is Connor Robbins, and I'm from Greenville, South Carolina. I'm a junior biological science major with an emphasis in physical therapy here at Clemson. I hope to enter into a physical therapy degree program after college while working as a physical therapy assistant to further my education in the field. My interest in physical therapy started when I was a child, and I had to go to work with my mom, who is currently the medical director of spinal cord and brain injury at Roger C. Peace, which is a rehabilitation center connected to Greenville Memorial Hospital. There, I was able to see at a young age how awesome it was to see my mom's patients come to the hospital injured, and with her help, they were able to leave feeling healthy again. There is a large importance for physical therapists to be effective in technical writing for communicating with other medical practitioners, such as doctors, nurses, other physical therapists, and insurers. Other medical practitioners can see previous treatment plans that can help infer what type of medicine or treatment plans they themselves may use on the patient. For insurers, they require physical therapist documentation for the necessity of physical therapy for the patient, reasonable time frame for physical therapy goals to be met, and why other medical practitioners couldn't do the same job. The mnemonic device SOAP is used to sum up the details that go into physical therapist documents. S stands for subjective data. This component is in a detailed narrative format and describes the patient's self-report of their current status in terms of their function, disability, symptoms, and history. It may also include information from the family or caregivers. It allows the therapist to document the patient's perception of their condition as it relates to their progress in rehabilitation, functional performance, or quality of life. O stands for objective data. This section outlines the objective results of the reassessment, the progress towards functional goals, and the treatments performed. It should include details of the interventions, including frequency, duration, and equipment use. The therapist should indicate changes in the patient's status, as well as communication with colleagues, family, or careers. A stands for assessment of the patient. This is potentially the most important legal note because this is the therapist's professional opinion in light of the subjective and objective findings. It should explain the reasoning behind the decisions taken and clarify and support the analytical thinking behind the problem-solving process. Progresses towards the stated goals are indicated, as well as any factors affecting it that may require modification of the frequency, duration, or intervention itself. P stands for plan for the patient. The final component of the note is used to outline the plan for future sessions. The therapist should report on what the patient's home exercise program, also known as HEP, will consist of, as well as steps to take in order to reach the functional goals. Here is an example of a soap note in which a woman came in complaining of having constant lower back pain that occurred suddenly when she stood up from a chair. The subjective portion of this document talks about how the patient has no past history of back pain and no medical conditions that would relate to such symptoms. The objective side of this document shows the patient's vital signs and simple tests run by the physical therapist such as height, weight, pulse, also including what can physically be seen such as pain shown by the patient and the patient's well-being. The assessment portion of this document shows that the doctor rules out many possible problems that the patient could be facing by explaining how the patient does not show symptoms of such problems, classifying this as just an acute, uncomplicated backache. Finally, the planning aspect of this document has the physical therapist prescription for the patient and possible stretches to perform daily to avoid further strain. For my interview, I decided to ask my mom just a few quick questions to get an insight into her daily work environment and the type of documents she has to write up. What kind of technical documents do experts in the physical therapy field make? Her response was daily reports of progress and functional independent measure, also known as FIM, with a score of 1 to 7, with 1 being completely dependent from mobility, 3 being that the therapist is doing 50% of the work, while the patient does the other 50, and 7 being completely independent. The functional independent measures are monitored and compared weekly for improvement or decline. What is the process taken to complete such documents? She responded by saying physical assessment of motor strength, joint range of motion, flexibility, muscle tone, and also mobility. For my final question, I asked who all views these documents and what is the importance of such writings. She responded by saying nurses, other doctors, and therapists view these assessments. These documents are important because it helps show on paper that the patient is making improvement with his or her therapy, or just the opposite, that the changes need to be made to the therapy schedule. Quite possibly one of the hardest and most important parts of the physical therapy field is the paperwork. Each document must be formatted correctly in order to communicate with other people in the field. If paperwork is not done correctly, delays could happen with treatment, potentially causing harm for the patient. 
Paperwork is the most intensive part of the job, which is why technical writing is so important in this professional field.